So we've already established that making mouse controlled steering in this game is possible using the new aiming servo. I figured out that you could use aiming servos used with distance sensors to actually make this, this little prototype here aim wherever the camera, well, essentially where the mouse is pointing. And with this, I was able to make a whole entire fighter jet capable of using this technology to actually steer where my mouse is pointing. But today we're going to be doing something a little bit different using this technology. I actually want to see if I can make a mouse control missile out of this technology so it could be like the most accurate rocket or missile possibly yet. You, all you have to do is steer with your mouse and then hit your target bang on because you have complete control with where the missile is going. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be turning this prototype into a missile. But first we need to clean this up and see if we can get this a little bit uh, more compact to be inside a missile. Okay, that didn't take too long. I essentially just moved everything into like a two by two area. So this is going to be the inner workings of our missile now. So it's essentially as easy as giving it like an actual shape, like finishing off the shape, building around all this and giving it propulsion. So let's get into building this missile. First things first, I'm going to just use some three by one wedges here because this shape matches the shape of the space fighter cockpit here. Nice. Yeah, there we go. That's cool. Let's go Go for a cone for a nose yeah and now it's time to start covering the mechanism yeah i'm just gonna cover everything in these two by fours it might make my missile look a little blocky right now but we can also fix that later all right we've got the basic shape of the missile done so let's see if we can round it off using some wedges unfortunately with this design i will actually have to be inside the missile to control it so yeah that's why i have a, a seat in the front but now i need to pick what type of propulsion i want and i think this rocket engine probably might be perfect for the job to be honest so the weight has shifted a lot but let's see if i can actually get this to work without any like stabilizing fins Oh no, oh no, oh no, we've lost control instantly. Okay, yep, that did not work at all. Obviously, it's a nice engine, but like I need to cover it because it obviously looks a bit weird having it exposed like that. So I'm trying to use these wedges here to, to cover it. I think that works pretty well, but I'm definitely going to try and smooth out the shape, you know, keep it as streamlined as possible and aerodynamic as possible. I've done some slight changes to the back end here. In terms of the size of the missile, I think it's okay. Could be a little bit longer, but right now I don't think I need to do that at the minute. Right now I need to focus on actually making this thing function. Well, it does function, just making it function better, I suppose. There is actually a reason why I'm making a missile. It's because we do a lot of missile multiplayer chases on the channel. But the missile we've been using was made by Scrapman. Not that it's bad. It's worked every time. It's just it's manual controlled. So having this new system should make it a little easier to actually chase in multiplayer videos with a missile. Think of it as a major upgrade. Okay, so I've managed to like really nail the functionality of this now. It should be working perfectly. So now I need to add the actual main part of the missile and that is the explosives the dynamite so we just need to figure out where we want to put the dynamite well i guess i'm putting them on the side of the seat here i think six should be plenty of explosive power these dynamites are pretty strong oh yeah make sure i disable the keybind that would be bad all right so we have a missile i have my mouse controls off right now but i can turn them on with shift so let's give this a test let's take off with the missile here okay Oh, wow. Okay, it's already kicking into gear. It's already responsive. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Not bad for a player-controlled missile, right? I can fly pretty accurately with this. Let's say I want to hit this island on my left, the small sandy island without a rock. I just point the camera down. Bang. <laughs> Explosion. It does take a tiny bit to turn around fully, but that's just a lot of drag happening there. I could just up the gyros if I wanted it to uh, be a little bit more responsive, but I think I found like the perfect point here for controllability. Let's say we're launched at this lighthouse here. Let's see if I can hit the top of it. Yep. 
yeah, easy peasy. That was a pretty big target, though. Let's see if we can fly through the aircraft carriers. There's like this runway they have, the internal one. Oh, come on, don't mess this up. Oh, <laughs> yes. Nice. Okay, cool. All right, now for the harder part of this. Let's see if we can go through the middle. Oh, no, there's, yeah, there's a ramp in the way. So let's go from this side. Turn right, turn right. Come on. Uh, no, I don't think I can turn in time. Oh, <laughs> okay. Dang. If I was to go through there, I would have had to do like a really sharp turn. As far as functionality, I'm very happy with it. But I think there's one more thing that I want to do for this missile. And I think I want to have it launch vertically like this. And after a certain point of launching, it will automatically turn on the mouse controls and uh, head into action. So yeah, basically just how like a missile would launch from like a missile silo just without the missile silo just have it go like this so i can launch like this by holding space and then i turn shift oh oh seems i've still got some controls oh no, no that's that's my uh that's my stabilizing gyro yeah okay but you get what i mean and i think i'm gonna use timings for that okay so that was really simple to do all i needed to do is put everything off by default and give it a delay so i've given it a delay of five seconds for everything to kick into gear so when i press space now oh dang i've <laughs> I forgot to toggle the engine itself. Okay, so I press space now. We're taking off. After five seconds, it automatically turns on like that. Beautiful, by the way. That was such a smooth transition. Now I have controls again. I don't even need to hold space now because it's on the toggle. All I need to do is aim with my mouse. And let's see if we can hit a palm tree. Perfect. That was really accurate. Well, this missile is pretty cool, but what it's missing is an even cooler paint job. So let's get to painting it. And here we have the finished paint job and also decal job because I've added a bunch of decals, especially the, um, the nuclear sign here. <laughs> We've gone for a nuclear warhead. I think it looks awesome. It's not actually a nuclear warhead because I've only got the power of six dynamite in here. Not much at all, but you know, we don't have nuclear explosives in Trailmakers, so. <laughs> Gotta make do with what you got. I've done like a chrome design on the top. It's all gray, and I've also put a decal over the seat to blend the seat in. There's a bunch of little warning stickers and stuff, and caution signs, and even a, a company logo on the side there. And finally, we've got a carbon fiber exhaust here for the missile. So yeah, pretty cool. Shall we give this new version a test? I think we should. Okay, activate by pressing space. It is launching. And then there we go. Auto activates the mouse controls and we're good to go. What's nice about having that launching mechanism where I have to wait five seconds is it allows the rocket to ramp up to 100%. So by the time I have controls to actually take over and aim the missile where I want it to go, it's already going max speed. And it all depends on what camera you want to use. So if I'm using sticky camera here, it's just going to keep the rocket turning. And also, yeah, losing altitude too, it seems. So you do not want to use sticky camera. Same thing with behind the seat camera. It's just going to keep the camera locked in like that. So, I mean, it could be useful, but yeah, not for me. Personally, I really like camera free. The racing camera, it's nice. It stays behind the missile at a good point. And it's, it's good to see the rest of the map and where you're heading. Definitely takes some practice to use though. But I think it's actually time to head over to the airborne map so I can take down some actual enemy targets. Okay, we're here at the airborne map and we are at the ruins area because I think it would be pretty cool to actually launch from out of this like cove. So we're just going to pretend that this is the missile silo and our targets are all over the map. I believe there is a base over here. There's a lot of bases around the ancient dunes. We can't see them on the map here, but when we actually head over to those locations we'll definitely see them so let's go for our first target so let's launch okay i think we gotta wait like 10 seconds whoa these waterfalls are pretty there we go okay nice we're a steady 284 miles per hour lots of enemies around here but we're looking for these bases and there we go i see three of them they're actually shield generators, so I gotta take out these, like, mini bases before I can hit the main one. 
So let's do some damage. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's one target down. Here we go. I know this is weird to say, but I actually feel like a missile right now. This is really smooth to fly. Okay, here's the other two targets. Heading to location now, so I just gotta point my mouse towards this. And we're gonna hit it square on, right? Yep, there we go. <laughs> cool. All right, here we go, we're launching again. There's like this gap in this mountain that I wanna try and fly through. Not this time, we're just gonna pass it. But I'm definitely gonna try and fly through that. But this one is the last shield generator. Come on, just point that down. Easy peasy. Oh yeah, no, it's it's so simple. It's so nice. Uh-oh, we launch at an angle. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, launching. Now it's finally time to take down the main base. We've took down the shields. We're on our way. Oh yeah, gotta fly through this, like I said. Come on. Come on, we can do it. Oh! <laughs> no way, Fred the Needle. Dang, that was cool. Hopefully I have enough explosives to take down this base. Oh, instantly. Instantly. Yeah. Okay. Good job. So, there we have it, guys. I have made a mouse-controlled missile in Trailmakers. Can I hit this plane? Oh, that was so close. If it didn't pitch up, I would have hit the plane. Oh, I, I swear I can hit these planes. Come on. Come on, missile. I'm just fast enough. Come on, come on. Oh, what? No way. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! We actually took down a moving target. Awesome. So let me know what else you want to see me make with the new aiming servos here in Trailmakers. I've had a lot of fun making this missile, and I've had way more fun actually flying it, because it is just super easy to control. And whilst you're at it, why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>